Vim is a text editor that allows the user to move, edit, and manipulate text with efficient keyboard shortcuts and without using the mouse. Vim has always been a text editor that has primarily been used by programmers. Though in this video, I will explain why you should use Vim for everyday writing, even if you're not a programmer. The first reason why using Vim could be beneficial for everyday writing is the Vim motions. The Vim motions are a set of keybinds that allow you to move the cursor, delete, copy, and paste text within Vim. And I have a video on most of the Vim motions that you're going to need to know to use Vim. Just for a quick demonstration, here is an example of uh, what Vim motions can do. So let's say you know, I am typing some text here. I can very easily copy lines of text. I can change a word by deleting it and by typing. Uh, I can delete words at a time uh, and I can move lines around and of course I can navigate the text let's say or to do this if I just copy this a few times you can see the line numbers I'm able to navigate through text and and there are of course many other ways to use the motions and many other key bindings that won't be able to go over this video so you can just check out the video where I explain all of those different motions. Another reason why you should use Vim is because of the file navigation. So if we, if we take a look at this, uh, this folder that we're in, you'll see we'll have a bunch of other folders and in every folder we have a bunch of files. And they're actually folders labeled 0 to 50 and each folder has files 0 to 50. So with this extension telescope, you can search uh, through these files. So let's say I wanted folder number, let's say 29 and file, let's say eight. I do this and now we jump to file eight in folder 29. And this can also uh, work by searching words inside of each file. So let's say, let's say we have a thing here. This is a word. Uh, and let's say, let's say if we search this, let's say if we want to search for this is a word. You see here, we'll search every file um, for whatever uh, string you want to search. And you jump to the file with that word. And it'll list off every file with So let's say uh, if we jump to another file and then let's quit let's say this is a word you'll see every file where uh whatever you search appears so navigate files through this way or as you've always seen here uh you can open up a file tree where you can go through and open up each folder recursively and you can go through each of the files All right, so another reason why I think Vim can be useful is for the auto completion, uh, which is most like most useful while coding or uh, programming. Though this could still be used while writing. So let's say you have some, you know, words that are not that long, like popular or typing. You can see we can auto complete. Um, at T, we can go through all the words that are already in the document. I can auto complete it, uh, but let's say for something you're writing, um, the subject of whatever you're writing about, let's say, has some really long name um, that is pretty hard to spell, type out. Um, this could be useful. So let's say such things. It's like something like this. I say I don't want to type this out every time, or you know, have it copied, and then I can't copy anything else because of this and just use them you can just auto complete to it you just jump to it whatever name you type in and you can go through select this and it will auto complete so one example of an everyday use of vim 
uh, could be note taking. So uh, the way I like to use it is let's say if you had uh, say a markdown file and use this markdown preview, which is a, a plugin, you can see a preview of a markdown file. So let's say if I start typing title and uh, we can have some, some heading and then some notes or whatever, right? And see that there's a live preview of the markdown while you type along. And let's say, let's say, let's say if you had, uh, say, a bunch of these, you can see that whenever, you know, you go in the file, you know, in Vim, you'll see that uh, the preview also scrolls along with it. So see if I'm moving my cursor in Vim throughout the file, you'll see that the preview also moves. So this makes it really nice uh, when using Vim for note taking, which is in writing in Markdown. Now, another use of Vim could simply just be uh, writing, you know, anything from emails, uh, assignments, whatever, essay, just use him. So let's say profile, uh, essay, you just write it, a text file, whatever uh, you can write. And once, you know, you've, you're done with the file uh, or writing, if you needed to, you know, export it to some format, you could just copy the text. And once you've written everything, just copy it, paste it into, let's say, Microsoft Word or Google Docs, and then you can worry about the formatting of everything after you've already had the content written. So it makes it, um, which I think it's a benefit, since you don't have to worry about any of the formatting while you're writing, it's much easier to just have everything written and then copy all of it format at the end so let's say we've copied it to google docs you see oh it's a bunch of words you can now in docs worry about uh, all of the formatting like let's say the fonts you know the title looks like let's say this now you worry about some formatting everything else the text the content was copied over. Now Vim, or what I'm using, which is NeoVim, which is, let's say, a version of Vim, uh, does require some configuration before you can use it to its full potential. So you can watch my video on... So you can watch my video on my NeoVim configuration, or if you choose to use Vim instead, I guess just find any video on configuring Vim. Um, so I'm not going to go over that in this video. Though I will suggest some plugins that you should use uh, in your configuration, whether it's for NeoVim or Vim. So the ones I find to be the most useful when writing is a plugin. Let's find right here um, this one called Vim oh yeah here this one's for writing so first one is Goyo which pretty much just makes the uh, Vim look like this so you see normally you'll have a status line and the text will be to the side here to the left if you use let's see, Goyo here it will make things more centered um, and it'll get rid of the status bar and the side, so it'll just make things look more neat, and it'll get rid of some distractions on the sides. Uh, Vim Pencil is a plugin that is especially useful for writing because, for example, here if I, you know, write down, let's say, a bunch of text like this. Normally, when you keep writing words, you'll see that the text just goes to the right, 
so it's like very long and it scrolls off the page um, which is not good since most of the navigation of the Vim motions requires you to navigate vertically and horizontal so just using horizontal navigation like this is less efficient now with Vim pencil you see if we like this you see pencil on and if I start typing let's say we're just typing, typing, typing. Instead of the line just going through forward, when you hit a certain point, it will create a new line for you and put the text on that line. So let's say, say if we type more, more here, you see that it wraps around to the new line whenever, uh, whenever you hit too far, too far to the right. So this, so this makes it much. Uh, much easier for writing in Vim. Uh, and then the last, say the last plugin for writing is, well, of course, the Vim preview. Uh, when I say Markdown preview, which Markdown preview dot nvim. So I th think maybe this only works NeoVim, um, but it's what I showed before with the, you know, Markdown preview yeah but for file navigation I think telescope is useful it's the one you see like this to find let's say the plugins file I just type plugin oh, here it is plugin dot Lua right uh, and also Parpoon is also a plugin that's very useful you can just mark files and you can set a keybind to jump to whichever file the list and those are some of the plugins that i really recommend you have when using vim for just general writing and the last thing i want to talk about is actually um, starting to use vim now vim is a or vim or neo vim both um, are applications within the terminal so if you're not a programmer um, or even some programmers um, usually don't even interact with the you know terminal at all, right? So if you're a regular user, just use you know for writing or whatever a uh, computer, uh, yeah, I, I would suggest that you find a graphical version of Vim. So what I mean by that is just uh, use a version of Vim that is has like graphical user interface. So something like GVim, like graphical Vim, right? It's just like any other like application, but there's Vim. Um, or something like NeoVi, just for NeoVim. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. If you found this video helpful, let's like the video and subscribe. And that's it. Good luck, everyone learning Vim. And check out the videos uh, on the Vim motions and the configuring Vim. So that's all I have to say. Bye, everyone.